Hi, I'm Diana Terranova, and I'm coming to you live from behind the scenes of the Sci-Fi Channel original movie, Piranaconda. It is produced by Roger Corman, Forrest King, and directed by the famed Jim Wynorski. I'm here with one of its gorgeous, gorgeous stars, former Miss USA, Shandy Finesse. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Tell all the fans out there about your character, Kimmy. She was the stereotypical actress who um, thinks that she's just so important and that her job is like honored by so many people and she feels like everything is Oscar material but really she's just annoying, she's obnoxious. Now do you think Shandy Finesse dies? Definitely, no doubt. What? You think, oh just because she's a Miss USA she has to die? She's got to be super attractive and then die and everyone's gonna be like, oh man, that's bummer. When I was a kid I loved watching Miss USA pageant so uh -huh. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> okay so Miss USA cannot go down? No, no, no. It was really fun just kind of having um, a really girly, obnoxious, annoying time with everyone, but uh, it was probably the best role, I think, to play. So James, do you think Shandy Finesse dies in the movie Piranaconda? Yeah, you fall in love with the character and then yeah. it dies. It, it makes, you know, it's the art, it's the soul of the movie. She's the heart and soul? Yeah, well, she's my heart and soul. So should Shandy Finesse die a bloody, disgusting, gory death? Or does it have to be neat and clean because she is a former Miss USA? Really? You're going to ask me that? Bloody and messy and everything else, man. Come on. Maybe she'll go missing at the beginning and then come back in the end and she'll save the world. Well, if there's more than one blonde, usually blondes die in, in horror movies. What do you think, in horror movies in general, do blondes get it first? I think the promiscuous ones get it first. The virgins stay around for a while. So you want to stick around for a while? Keep your pants down. Yeah, well, Kimmy's kind of a little bit of a prude, I'd even say. If it came around, I would say she would have been more promiscuous, though, because she's always in a bikini. She's always, like, uh, stripping down something. Nobody's safe nowadays. It's 2011. Nobody's safe. The rules have changed. No. No. Miss yeah. USA forever. Miss USA forever. <laughs> well, I'm here with David Kelly at WonderCon 2011 and Miss USA forever. 